Hi, this is Damon Tennant from MyGED Live, and we are doing question number four. There are a total of 1,075 employees at InMotion Incorporated. 735 employees are production workers, 105 are engineers, and the rest are administrative and management employees. What is the ratio of administrative and management employees to production workers? So as usual, our first step is we're going to ID the question. And then our second step, as usual, is we're going to state our path. And I'm just going to write that as SYP, state your path, because you're going to be the one doing this test. So again, identifying the question is the most important thing. So the question here is what is the ratio of admin staff to management employees? admin and management employees to production workers. So a ratio, you know you're going to have to set up a fraction bar here. And on top, uh, the question is, what is admin? And I'm just going to cover admin and management up there. And then down here, production. So at the very end of this problem, we want two numbers. We want a comparison, with a, which is what a ratio is, of the admin up here and then the uh, production down here. Okay, so now our first step is we're going to need to work, we're going to need to state our path, and so we're going to need to work with the numbers we're given. So they don't tell us in the question how many um, admin and production workers we have, so we have to start with what we do have. And so we'll start with the production workers, and we'll add to that the engineers. Okay, so those are the two of the three classes of workers that we do know at the company, and together they add up to be 840. Okay, and then our next step is, well, if we know that there's 840 between the engineers and production employees, well, if we subtract that from the total amount of employees, which it tells us there's 1,075, so if we subtract the 840 production and engineer workers, whatever is left will need to be the um, admin and uh, management employees. So that's going to give us 235. Okay. So now we found one important piece because, again, we want to start with the question. So the question up here asked us, uh, the, the ratio of the admin to uh, production workers. So now our next step is to go ahead and set up that ratio, 235, and then production workers is up here. We already know that is 735. And so now we have our answer. Is it up here? Uh, admin and uh, management employees, 235. And then production workers down here, 735. But then, of course, we have to reduce. So we have to think of the biggest number that evenly goes into 235 and 735. And I'm just going to try 5 because both of these numbers end in 5. So I know that 5 will divide evenly into them. And 235 divided by 5, I'm just going to use my calculator here. That's going to give us 47. And then 7, whoops, excuse that 7 there. And then 735 divided by 5 is going to give us 147. And then so the ratio of administration and management employees to production workers is 47 to 147. Again, this is Damon Tennant from MyGED Live. For more, go to www.mygedlive.com. Thank you.